Hello, my name is Batabi Libintombini, negotiator and mediator, and the founder and owner of Untangled Resolutions, a private consultancy in conflict management and dispute resolution. This is your negotiation minute or so. What's the difference between a demand and a proposal? Go clean your room right now, or else you'll be sorry. No, uh, that would be a threat, and we'll deal with threats in another video. The difference between a demand and a proposal is how you think about it. You can turn a demand into a proposal. So here's a demand. I want you to bring me $250,000 in non-sequential unmarked bills that have already been used in a plastic bag on the corner of 125th and Lennox at 6 p.m. sharp. Demands can leave you feeling anxious. You're confused, you don't know what to do, your mind is racing, it's big, bad, it's ugly. Well, here's how to take a demand and turn it into a proposal. The first thing you want to do is to slow things down. Take a deep breath. Take a moment and just repeat back to the person what you heard them say. So let me be sure that I have this right. You want $250,000 in non-sequential unmarked bills in a plastic bag on the corner of 125th and Lennox at 6 p.m. sharp? Yeah, that's what I said. The beauty of that is that it also allows them to feel heard, and that's important. The next step is to break the demand down into its constituent elements, or its different parts. That's now how you're starting to turn the demand into a proposal. So, you say you want the bills to be unmarked, non-sequential, and already used. Why is that important? So I don't have to launder it myself. So there's money laundering involved? Yeah. So we're gonna break the law? Yeah. How's this good for me? You want to live. Breaking the demand down into its constituent elements allows you to turn it into a proposal. Now you can examine each part with your counterpart and clearly understand what is in your best interest to do. Nothing prepares you for turning a demand into a proposal like practice. And that's what you get when you attend my live workshops or my webinars. So visit untangledresolutions.weebly.com to sign up for more information about my offerings. I'll see you in the classroom.